hey guys welcome back to my channel for all my new subscribers my name is alan so this video is for mac users okay if you're using a mac computer with your sawgrass sg 400 or your sawgrass sg 800 i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to print from your vpm the virtual point manager because if you don't print from your virtual point manager you will not get the hd quality that you're looking for okay so this is why you need to finish watch this whole video so i could take you guys through the process how you need to get that done and also i kind of like this design you're looking here because you can also check your you know your color profile you know your ink and everything else so this is why i like you know using this design here and the only thing you need to worry about here is how small you want your design and how big you want the design just make sure you set up your paper as 8.5 by 11 the regular letter paper here okay so you could put it as big as you want it so, okay so what you need to do right after you select your design here okay what you need to do you got to go to file and then you go to print and then you set up your printer and everything stay the same and then you go down to pdf and open and preview this is right there has a like a pictures here and what you need to do you go to file and then you go to export here and then when you get there you just gotta give your desire a name so i'm just gonna put it and put cat six here and then where you want to save it at i'm just gonna save it on my desktop and then you go down to format you gotta switch the format the, the pdf to jpeg Okay, and then quality, you gotta put it all the way at best. And then right after you're done here, you just save it. Okay, so when you're done, you just gotta click that off. And then click that off. And then what you need to do next, you gotta go on the very top here. You see the V logo on top here. And also, if you set up your SG800, your SG400, and you don't see the V logo on top here, something is wrong. Something is it's when something is not right so you gotta have the v logo on top here so what you need to do right there you just gotta go down to options and then you go down to additions as you can see here i already have forever so guys just stay the same and caesar so this is where you have to go to let your um, print manager or your printer know what kind of heat transfer paper that you're using so see uh, since i already have those here but you, if you've never done that before, and what you need to do, you gotta go down to enable new editions, okay? So what you need to do, you go to the, you know, the V logo, and then you go down to option, edition, and you come here to enable new edition here, you just click on that. And then they give you this activate edition here. So in this box here, this is where you put, if you're using the Caesar heat transfer vinyl, you gotta tap caesar here if you're using the forever subly you gotta put forever subly here so what i'm gonna go ahead i'm just gonna show you guys how it works you just gotta go put for forever and then print enter apply as you can see here this edition has already been enabled like i told you i already done that before i already set up everything there so this is why i see that but it's it's still gonna go through okay and then you press okay and it's already there and then you do the same for the if you're using caesar heat transfer vinyl you go to the logo you go to options okay and then you just go to enable okay and then you just put top caesar and you would activate okay so let's go back to the process so what you need to do next right after you done save your design from the Cilio software you done save it so this is where you go the logo here on top and then you go down to open local file you click on there and then when you're done you gotta look where you save your design at. so i'm gonna look for cat six here then open and as you can see here it's open for my vpn the virtual point manager so this is how you print from your virtual you know virtual point manager using your mac computer with pc you don't have to do all that and you will see the the virtual point manager right to your print you know your print box and everything so as you can see everything there printer is there the ink sub jet hd sub trade cotton paper subly light 
and then you could when you when you put um forever sobly you don't need to put you don't need on on the box you don't need to write forever sobly for dark or forever sobly for light as long you put as long you put forever it will show you if it's for light or if it's for dark so when you get down here as you can see it's already there so be flex and so be light okay so i'm gonna do it for light it's pretty much the same setting if you pretty much did the same settings on on your cilio cutting machine and this is the same setting you would do for um subly flex so when you're done here you just gotta go to jobs and select your paper sizes 8.5 by 11 which is the letter okay and this is it and then pretty much that's pretty much how you do it so whenever you're ready to print and then you just print and then this is where you're gonna get the hd quality look because if you don't do the process and you're trying to print you don't try to print from there and then you think you could only print from your silio software like there you just go here okay i'm just gonna go ahead and hit print and you, it will print but you will not get the hd quality until you do the process that i just showed you on your computer okay so whenever i'm ready to print add that on the shirt i just go ahead and do so so this is how you do it okay so if you like the video give me a thumbs up you know you know subscribe for more videos all right so this is what i wanted to show you guys okay if you plan on buying an sg 400 or sg 800 and then you planning on using it with your mac computer go ahead and keep this video and save that video for whenever you're ready all right thank you and thanks for watching